personally, I think someone come up here and grabbed her and ran down the hill. I think so, And too. threw her in a car and drove as far away as they could from this area. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard by her swing. I feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her and has lured her away from here. So, what they're saying is a total random stranger that may have seen her on Facebook, which they would have never seen on Facebook if TikTok if mom wasn't posting the inappropriate pictures. So they believe that their inappropriate actions have led to someone coming to the middle of rural Tennessee, running up their long driveway or holler, as we've heard it called, grabbing Summer, running back down the long holler, jumping in their car and taking her far, far away. In the same breath, Mom says, she watched her walk into the house, into the kitchen where the boys were, and told the boys to watch her, and two, one, two minutes later, she goes back in and asks where Summer is, calls for her, and she's just gone. So, they did all of that, running up the hill, running down the hill, grabbing her within two minutes. See, something's wrong with your story every time you tell it. So was it longer than two minutes that you had the boys watch her? Which would be sufficient time for somebody to run up, run down, take her, all of that? Or did none of it happen? Y'all can't look the camera in the eye. Your eyes are rolling around in the back of your head, Candace. Something's in your system. Don has rapid eye movement like I've never seen before. And he's getting cockier in his statements. He's really starting to believe it. And he's upset that we're not believing. And he is frustrated, frustrated, excuse me, with the TBI and all of their efforts because he is telling them she's not in the area. This little segment is interesting as hell, isn't it? <laughs> For such a tiny segment. Very interesting. Again, see what you will, say what you feel, but please remember something in my comments, in my chat room, you are not allowed to tell anybody what they should feel. You will notice I have a totally different reaction to those comments. That is a pet peeve of mine. We all have the right to think what we want. They're putting their business out there. We're looking at it and we are basing an opinion. That's what we do. If you don't like what you see in the comments, do not start arguing with my people. I will delete you so fast, you'll not even know you were there. It's not about a back and forth argument. You feel how you feel, they feel how they feel. You can have a healthy debate. But if you start screaming, okay, and we can tell from text when you're really screaming, if you start fighting with people, you're out of here. Period. State your opinion and be respectful of the other people around you, not of these possible culprits. Once they're clear, okay, we'll leave them alone. I won't apologize, though, because everything I've seen is deserving of everything I've said. And they're putting it out there. If you want a private life, be more private. Stop coming on here telling us all this bullshit and expecting us to look the other way. And for the super softies that say, please have mercy on the parents, they're going through a lot. I don't give a shit here on this channel. I don't give a shit what they're going through. You can say, I feel for the parents, but don't come here and say, y'all should have more. It, it, skirt. Now you're telling other people what to think. And if I respond to that, it's not going to be nice. 
because these are possible murderers, possible aiders and abettors, possible accessories to murder. I have no empathy at this point. And just because you don't hear the media saying it or law enforcement saying it doesn't mean they don't think this. There is a reason they are surrounding these people's home, not letting anybody up the hill. They don't want to contaminate a crime scene, if you ask me. There's a reason all these agencies are concentrating on this one area. Think about it. Oh, beautiful. That story's coming up very soon. Liam Husted. Justice for Liam. Back to summer. So, you see how I just stated all my opinions? They're all mine. But I'm not going to tell you. You should be able to see the rapid eye movement. You guys, come on. Grow up. This is not kindergarten. Have your freedom of speech and reserve the right to feel entitled and attack other people's comments because that's not your right. <laughs> you can't tell them what to feel, what to see, what to think, especially not over here. The channel is Q Carla, and the reason why it's like that is because I am just me at all times, and nobody's going to change that. And I defend the right for everyone to have their own opinion. It's, it's like this. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Okay? Yeah. There you have it. I'm off my soapbox. This is a hot mess. Okay? In my eyes. <laughs> Look at this. This is just a screenshot. But this is how long his eyes were closed sometimes. That I could actually catch that. I didn't try to. I just nip. And look at her. Where is she looking? Don't believe in body language? That's fine. Oh, but I do. And I've seen some experts crack cases. FBI and the higher ups. Other higher ups. Use this. What is going on in her head right now? And what's going on in your mind right now? What are you thinking about, Don? And why was his hand behind Candace the whole time? Like, like he was giving her three taps for yes and two taps for no or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I do believe that I know no damn body ran up the hill. Because first of all, how did they even know there was a kid up there to run up there and get? Okay, so if they did run up, then we it comes back to you guys. Who knew? Who knew she was there in the basement alone? Y'all aren't telling us something. But I'm literally looking at that road right now. Somebody ran up that wooded, dark road around dinner time <laughs> and just knew they were going to run back down with a little girl. And they did that. And then they went far, far away from here. Out of this area, Don said. Check out the videos. Um, there's a couple, I think, on Moderna. Moderna, New Mexico. He talked about that. Um, which I just think is interesting. Since he keeps stressing she's out of the area. Just, just check it all out. Just keep listening. If the story doesn't seem to change for you, well, okay. <laughs> uh, but this story, it just, it's, it's, it's a chameleon. They're trying to blend in and be what we think they should be. Say what we think they should say. First words out of her mouth, she was. The rest of the interview, she worked on that. And what the hell did the sling have to talk, have to do with it? That was really random. Did you catch that? You mentioned she would never leave here something or other in her swing by her swing it's in the beginning or when she first starts to talk not when don talks that part out i'll see you guys in the comments